Hello, I'm Zach Sierra, and this is HVAC Shop Talk. And today we're going to talk about an out-of-the-box repair technique that I saw used one time, but I've never done myself. We're going to see what you guys think about it. If your business sells IAQ products, you need to find out more about this great program from Jackson Systems and Supply. Modern HVAC and IAQ companies offer a lot of IAQ products, including UV lights, media filters, and much more. With the new AirLink program, Jackson Systems gives the contractors a chance to make money while taking the strain off of the contractor. With so many different types of air cleaners, filtration, and UV lights out there, it's hard for a contractor to remember which one goes where and when it's time to change it. First things first, you have to sign up with Jackson Systems to be an AirLink partner. Use the link on the screen or the one you see in the description. Next, you're going to work with the Jackson Systems guys to figure out what you want to sell, how you want to sell it, figure out what you need to sell it for. They're there to help you and make sure you're making money, even though they're putting in the legwork. Next, you're going to do your installations like you always have done and show your customers how to scan the QR code and reorder their products. And then find yourself a nice beach or a yacht to sit on because you can sit back and relax and Jackson Systems will do the rest. Over the last decade plus, I've watched many, many different YouTube channels that have an HVAC base. One of those YouTube channels was a guy named Brad who was HVAC in South Carolina. I saw him do something one time that I don't think I ever tried in the field, but once I saw it, I was like, where has this been all my life? Now, for those of us that you work on a lot of split systems, we see a lot of you know, change out TXVs, change out evaporator coils, and the procedure for doing that includes pumping down a condenser and storing the refrigerant outside. It's really, really convenient. It speeds up the task. It's way easier than recovering all the refrigerant and having to do a vacuum on the full system because as a lot of us know, doing vacuums on the full system is much more difficult than doing it on the line set and evaporator coil, especially a new evaporator coil. Well, what happens if there's a repair needed in the outdoor unit? Do you have to recover all the refrigerant? Well, most of the time, yes, that's exactly what you have to do. You have to recover all the refrigerant because the outdoor unit stores a greater volume of refrigerant than the indoor unit anyway. So it's hard to imagine putting it anywhere else. But I saw Brad do this and it was years ago and I never got to try it, but I wanted to see what you guys think about it. During a pump down procedure, when you're pumping everything into a condenser, you're shutting the liquid service valve so the refrigerant is being sucked out of the line set and evaporator coil by the compressor and stored in the condenser. Typically you can store all the refrigerant in the condenser, but condensers like micro channel condensers, they can't store that huge volume because they're very small. And some of the Goodman condensers, like the eight millimeter coil, which are just smaller tubes, they may not be able to store all the refrigerant either. But what if we did it in reverse? What if we pumped everything out of the condenser into the evaporator coil in line set? Now in heating cycle, you'd be pumping hot gas into the evaporator and that probably won't work very well. But in the cooling cycle, you can pump everything out of the condenser into the evaporator coil, except for a little bit, because you don't want the compressor running in a vacuum. And how quickly will that compressor go into a vacuum? The journey from the suction service valve to the compressor is pretty short. So how long do you think it would take to go into a vacuum? I don't know probably not too awful long, but that would allow you to get some of the refrigerant at least out of the condenser and into the indoor unit so you don't have to recover as much. Is it a worthwhile thing to do? I never got to try it, I don't think. I don't remember ever trying that, but I was always intrigued by it. I always like out of the box thinking. So here's what I want you guys to do. Make sure you comment below and tell me whether you think it's a good idea, a bad idea, or if you have a different idea that's similar that you think would save some people some time. And don't forget, when you comment, you're also signing up to win a yellow jacket and a monitor, Y-Jack Flow. So make sure you comment on all the videos I've done over the last couple months because I'm going to pick one of those videos and pick a commenter to win the Y-Jack Flow. Let me know what you think of this, guys and gals out there. My name is Zach Ciotta, and I'll see you on the next one. God bless all of you. Tree Tech Tools has a wide variety of great test equipment. Use the Shop Talk discount code to support this show and save 8% off at True Tech Tools.